Hi and welcome to this video on Google AdWords tutorial tips and tricks. This is being brought to you by Cash Data Consulting LLC based in Dallas, Texas. We are experts in SEO search engine optimization, Google AdWords, AdSense and Analytics. Uh, currently we are offering a $100 Google AdWords credit for the next 30 days if you sign up for one of our uh, packages. You can contact us and get more information at info at datatechnologyllc.com. So basically today, uh, agenda, today's agenda is to really uh, do an overview of Google AdWords. Uh, we are going to start off by reviewing uh, the website that we are, uh, you know, setting up Google AdWords for, and then we will jump into uh, the basically overview of uh, Google AdWords campaign that we have currently running. So let me switch over to uh, the internet um, and let me show you the website we are trying to optimize. Uh, this is basically uh, site learning uh, SQL Server 2008.com. Uh, it's uh, one of our many sites that we own. Uh, this site uh, specializes basically on uh, providing SQL Server training which is a database application from Microsoft uh, so here you can uh, you know browse for products uh, if you like uh, some of these items you can buy them you can look at our feedback contact us and then we have a, a member section also so um, basically like I mentioned uh, this site has to do everything with SQL Server so uh, just a little background on that. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch to Google AdWords and if you have not signed up yet um, here is the the page essentially it's uh, adwords.google.com is uh, what you need to type. Uh, you can come in here and then uh, you can uh, you know get started by doing this. I'm not going to do this uh, as I already have an account so let me go ahead and type uh, my information in here and uh, Google, Google AdWords, uh, you, sh you know, sh you should be familiar with it. If you're not, let me uh, just spend uh, may maybe a minute or two on this. So let's say you are searching for SQL, SQL Server Tutorial, okay? And um, or let me try something else, actually. Let me do 2008 Tutorial. Okay, somehow I'm not getting any ads. So let me just back up a little bit here and still I'm not seeing anything in here maybe I need to sign out but let me see I'm just trying different keywords that I can search for and then have the ads showing so here's one that's working so I'm searching for SQL Server training this little portion here that says ads these are Google ads that have been set up through Google AdWords okay and you know the um, the companies that put this together, for example, in this case it's SQLsteps.com, they are trying to sell their product. When you click on this, uh, essentially, uh, you know, this company pays Google and the end user ends up on their site. Okay, also the ads on the right side uh, have to do uh, essentially with Google AdWords also. So the one on the top and the one on the right. The stuff in the middle is actually what's known as natural organic results. So today primarily we are going to be working with some of these ads trying to uh, show up our page in here. So just a little quick uh, intro to uh, Google Ads. Now here I'm logged into my AdWords. Um, there's a lot of information on this home tab. Uh, for now I'm going to go ahead and skip this and we will uh, come back to this. It's basically sort of like a dashboard. It tells you that uh, uh, you know they have shown 400,000 um, impressions on my ads. I've had 482 clicks and uh, like a barrage of information so I don't want to overwhelm you right now. We are going to switch to the campaigns tab in here okay and then uh, notice that uh, again uh, you know there's a uh, quite a few things in here so we will walk you uh, through step by step the first thing you need to notice is that this campaign that it's showing you is from December of 2010 to today which is May 31 of 2011 okay and uh, what we have here are a few tabs. So the first one that we're currently on is the campaigns tab. Then we have the ad groups, settings, 
ads, keywords, networks, and a few other options. So for today's tutorial, we're really going to uh, kind of walk you through an existing campaign that I am running. Um, notice that we have other campaigns in here that are paused, so they are not currently running. Uh, we are going to be basically focusing on this one, the one that's highlighted. We uh, created this a few days ago. Um, it's called SQL-Server-Tutorials. Uh, we are running with a budget of $9 a day. The campaign is eligible, which means basically that it is running. Uh, we have had 15 clicks, okay, out of an impression, uh, total impressions of 823. So let me do a quick math here. I'm going to go ahead and divide 15 by 823, okay, and do a percent on that. So that's 1.82 okay so this divided by this gives you this which is CTR well what is CTR CTR is the click-through rate that means that uh, you know out of those 800 ads that were displayed 15 were clicked now uh, this is not bad ideally you want this to be as high as it's uh, possible because this actually affects your bid bid is the amount of uh, money that you are going to pay Google every time somebody clicks on that and we will take a look at that in a little bit but if you click uh, if you compare this one to let's say this campaign on Excel okay you will notice that we showed a lot more ads okay with with a lot fewer clicks and the ratio of only 0.17 so that is not uh, very good but um, nevertheless uh, you know it is what it is and then uh, a few things in here CPC stands for cost per click so every time somebody clicked under this campaign they paid uh, 21 cents a click okay as opposed to uh, on the SQL Server tutorials uh, people uh, the average cost that got charged is uh, 1.88 okay so what you do is you basically again uh, take 1.88 you multiply this with 15 okay because it's all it's really all about clicks and when you do that you get 28.2 so that is what we have paid Google so far average position is uh, you know position of where our ad is showing which is 4.5 that's not that's not bad at all uh, considering on, on every page maybe seven or so ads show up we already have had one conversion uh, so that's not bad the cost of conversion really is uh, you know this divided by this so let's say if he had two conversions hypothetically I could have taken the 28.2 divided by 2 which would have given me fourteen dollars okay that is what's what it is costing me to sell one of my products okay so again uh, very you know basic high level information we are going to uh, you know continue with the second tab uh, which is ad groups before I do this there are a few things you can do uh, you can filter different kinds of uh, campaigns if you wanted to so notice that I just you know made the uh, made the active campaign as my default filter and also uh, we can uh, customize columns we can uh, change uh, and you know uh, basically the format in here uh, so just a quick FYI for this um, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to uh, going to go ahead and click this I don't see this. Oh, okay, can cancel out of this one here. Um, typically, when I do video tutorials, I usually do have a uh, essentially script that that I follow. Today, I'm really doing sort of like an impromptu uh, video tutorial, so I may be a little bit haphazard, for which I do apologize. But uh, I, I think that you will definitely get a, a lot of information through this series okay so that was enough about campaigns I'm going to go ahead and switch over to ad groups okay so ad groups is again uh, you know if you're if you're talking about the hierarchy this is essentially a campaign can have one or more ad groups and one or uh, you know one ad group can have one or more ads okay so that's sort of like how it flows and in our next tutorial we will revisit this again so you have a better understanding of how all the relationship 
groups uh, you know come into play all right so back into our ad groups um, as you'll notice we have a few um, uh, prior ads that uh, you know from our um, older campaigns you will notice that this has been paused okay we only uh, currently we are only running one uh, one ad group which is down here here's the name of that I ad group so it's ss dash tutorial uh, you will notice a few things um, you know about the status this one is paused uh, this one is eligible which means it's running also this ad group uh, belongs to this this campaign uh, so once again you know we, our campaign is SQL dash server tutorials and the ad group is SS tutorial and you can definitely create multiple ad groups within a campaign if you wanted to uh, think of an ad group as really uh, sort of like a product line or a service offering so currently we're just offering SQL Server 2008 let's pretend if we were also uh, you know trying to do an ad campaign on SQL Server 2005 uh, I would actually go ahead and recommend creating another ad group uh, you know you know and call it something meaningful okay uh, we do have a uh, max CPC which again is the cost per click uh, currently this is set it to uh, three dollars uh, a click which is uh, a little bit high but uh, I think you know it's competitive area uh, so you know this is what we have set and uh, some of this other information is just to repeat from the other page so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do two things in here I'm going to select this filter and then say um, uh, all enabled ad groups by the way you can create a filter and we will uh, come back to this and show you how to do that uh, I'm just going to go ahead and select this and it will take out the other ad groups that were there and just show us the active one